mountain biking it's a difficult sport that takes a lot of skill especially when it comes to learning how to jump and rail berms riding fast over rough terrain but there are so many good things about it but i don't say there's also a few a few little bad points about mountain biking but don't worry because today i'm going to go through with you in this video a few of those points so you know what to look out for in the future We always get asked so many questions in the comments about just how to jump. And I tell you what, we get even more fail submissions. It's slightly alarming actually. But yeah, getting those wheels off the ground is something that we as mountain bikers always seem to want to do, even though we're getting air underneath them. It's defying gravity, it's unnatural, but it is bloomin' fun. But sadly, as it stands jumping, well, unfortunately, it's one of the most difficult skills to learn. All the little tips and tricks, the techniques, speed, spotting, landing, and doing it on the right jump, learning it is, well, not simple to say the least. So a big old dollop of perseverance is required there. And that one, once you overcome it, whew, she's a fun one. Roots are sketchy, they're slippery when wet, unpredictable and just happen to be all over the place. You can literally have your bike taken out from underneath you in an instant from one sneaky sniper route. A perfect example of this, well check out Neil. One of the best ways of dealing with roots is to ride perpendicular to them and best to do it as fast as you dare go, gliding over the top of them. But if you've had your fair share of bad route experiences, riding quickly over them is not very easy to get your head around. So, like a lot of us, we just avoid them where we can and deal with them as best as we can when we can't. Oh, I tell you what, this next one's a love-hate relationship and it's the fitness side of mountain biking now. What goes down has got to get to the top first. So it means, unless you uh, love the park life or have a ski lift nearby, you're gonna to have to get your pedal on. But I promise you it's well worth it in the long haul because once that fitness level comes up, you can then reap the rewards of being able to thrash it down harder or go out for longer rides perhaps, or just, just generally enjoy it more without gasping for air at the bottom. The ground then, it's probably quite literally the hardest thing in mountain biking and something you're probably going to get acquainted with sooner rather than later. Yes, I'm talking about crashing. It's not a case of if, but sadly when, unfortunately. And the ground and mountain biking, well, they go together like eggs and omelettes because you can't have one without the other. So like I said, crashing, unfortunately, it's inevitable. It's going to happen. And no doubt, as you get a bit more confident and your speeds and get a bit higher and you're riding earlier stuff and you're gonna crash a little bit more, but fear not, you'll get used to it. I promise you'll learn to tuck and roll, brace for impact, and it won't come as quite such a shock to you. I promise, persevere, it'll get better. Just stick with it. Mechanical skills are another thing you're gonna have to conquer. There's so many moving parts on this thing that knowing how each one works and getting used to what each one does to be able to keep that bike running nice and smooth, but also to keep on top of it. Cause you don't want things breaking whilst you're out on a ride. Well, that is gonna take a bit of time to learn, I'm afraid. And something you are gonna have to stick with because there's so much from skippy gears to bleed and brakes to oh, droppers. How do they even work? Magic in there. Tires, tire pressures, sealant, brake levers. Fitting bars, cutting bars, I, there's so much to learn. <music> Mount
mountain biking by its very nature, sadly not the cheapest sport out there. Now, whether it's an all singing or dancing bike like this one or a more budget bike that you have, either way, these things take some maintaining and constant looking after. Things like wear and tear and maintenance all add up. So keeping on top of your bike is key. But sadly, like I said, things do just wear out. So like your tires, chains, I don't say even gear cables, grips, they all just are the product of wear and tear because we all like to use our bikes so bloomin' much. Kit's another thing, it all adds up. All this gear does unfortunately cost a pretty penny. If you're gonna start getting very serious, then all the right gear can make a big difference to making your day a lot easier and a lot better on the bike. But fear not, don't feel like you've got to be pressured into having all the right kit because you don't have to. You can ride in whatever, but sometimes a good pair of waterproof trousers and a warm top, well, they can make your life a little bit simpler and a little bit more comfortable, that's for sure. This is a tricky one. For a lot of us, having an amazing riding spot on our doorstep is just not feasible, unfortunately. Or having an amazing bike park as well that we can just shred any time. It doesn't happen for a lot of us. You know, that's just life. But making the most of what you have got nearby, that is something you certainly can do. Traveling to parks and places to ride, well, that costs cash. And whether you're coming here to put laps in or you're heading to your favorite XC spot or even a pump track down the road, well, it all adds up and chips away at your trusty bank account. But don't let it deter you because, well, it is well worth it. I mean, you're out in Mother Nature and it's pretty blooming awesome. Keeping up with the Joneses, and I don't mean the Steve Joneses, because, you know, that old boy still goes pretty fast. I mean, seeing all that flashy kit your mate's got, or his new van, or he's off to various riding spots, or you're hunting likes and followers, and all that kind of gubbins. It can be tough, admittedly, seeing your mates with all the flashy gear, when maybe you can't afford it, but don't let that deter you again. It doesn't matter, because what matters is skill, and if you shred harder than them, well, ha, sod them. See you later, mate. I feel this video has been a bit doom and gloom telling you all the hardest things about mountain biking. And well, do you know what? Sometimes you've got to know these things, but don't despair, get out there, get on your bike, have some fun riding. I tell you what, drop me some comments below and let me know some of the amazing things about mountain biking. I'd love to hear them, but for now, thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure. Uh, I've enjoyed myself, but I'm out of here. Happy riding and I'll catch you next time.